On behalf of DuPont, congratulations to all the honorees tonight, and thank you to the American Chemical Society for hosting such a special event and for honoring all of these heroes. What I'd like to do is take an opportunity to especially thank our DuPont team, Kurt McKeska, Charlie Terardi, Paul Vernoy, Ken Hang, Brian Laughlin, and Alan Carroll. This team worked together relentlessly to revolutionize the energy efficiency of solar cells. Just by way of context though, as you know, Dow and DuPont have merged so that we can bring together the complementary portfolios of both company and form three separate independent companies. So tonight I'm representing Specialty Products Division of Dow DuPont, which next year will become the new DuPont. And we're gonna continue our long-standing commitment to science, driving innovation, and driving growth. Our purpose of our new company is to empower the world with the essential innovations to thrive. And I think that's a perfect purpose for tonight in honoring our heroes in the commitment of those heroes to not only providing growth for the company, but more importantly, the impact on the world in driving energy and energy efficiency. As you know, solar energy and the commitment to solar and renewable energy is so important to all of us, but also important to DuPont, a field that we've been in for material science for more than 30 years. Our commitment is to safer, sustainable, and more cost-effective transmission of sunlight into electrical energy. And the colleagues that we're honoring tonight for their work over a span of a decade to be able to deliver with outstanding depth and thought products that allow us to generate metallization paste to improve the efficiency of solar cells. The key challenge is really in driving efficiency, which we know is critical for cost effectiveness and for large scale industrial commercialization. The underlying limiting factor is the science that they approach through creativity, through ingenuity, and through some fabulous chemistry and material science. So quick context, uh, as we saw in the video, a, thin, a typical solar cell is a thin wafer of high purity silicon, which has been doped, typically with phosphorus. On top of the solar cell are emitters, anti-reflective coatings. So when you see solar cells as you're driving by, you don't see the gray of the silicon, but instead you see the blue-black, which allows us, to, which allows the solar cell to then have an insulating cover. The silver paste that's printed on top of those wafers is used to collect the electricity that's generated by the solar cell. The challenge here is the paste needs to etch through this anti-reflective coating during a very rapid firing process in order to allow the silver to make electrical contact with the emitter while at the same time not damaging the layer by over etching. For decades, silver paste technology relied on one very critical form of chemistry of lead borosilicate glass called fritz, fritz to do the etching. But these fritz had drawbacks which limited their efficiency and especially the softening at high temperature. Because of the properties, a large amount of frit needed to be added to the paste which had negative consequences on the overall efficiency of the cells. And this was the challenge that this team was faced with, how to change the efficiency of these cells by changing that frit chemistry. The deep insights of the team, the creativity across multiple functions is what allowed this team's approach and generated the real uh, insight which led to replacing the silica and borate in the frit with other elements to lower the melting point and also the viscosity of the glass. And as we know, this element turned out to be tellurium. The right ratios were critical, and this became the new product called DuPont Solomet PV17F. Our customers refer to it as the miracle paste, which is an amazing thing. And I refer to our heroes as the miracle team. This is patent protected, really highly differentiated technology, game changing in the industry for solar cells. The majority of the photovoltaic industry has adopted this technology. And the solar cells with the DuPont Solomet paste account for more than 90% of the overall $34 billion solar module market. 
This is an impact not only in science in the laboratory, but all the way through industrialization and commercialization for all of us to enjoy the benefits of renewable energy as part of the energy mix. These scientists' collaboration, their dedication to the pursuit of this solution, and working with solar manufacturers to be able to implement the solution was what was, the, what was critical for success. The impact is also very important for sustainability. The advances such as this one, these conventional solar panels, the improvement is more than a 25% uh, change in the conversion of electricity than more than only five years ago. We know that getting to grid parity is essential, and this technology is providing the pathway to get there. What I'd like to do is commit, again, for DuPont, that science-based innovation will continue to be our future, and the role model that this team has provided will continue to drive us forward in using science for impact driving economic development and growth. Once again, I thank the American Chemical Society and I congratulate the DuPont team for their inspiration, for their dedication, and for their creativity in making a real difference in the solar industry. Thank you very much.